Hey everybody, welcome back to Geektopia Island. We're here with the new uh, Kevin's Creations, and I'm your host Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And we're here with a new Shayla deck. It is one of my more competitive Shayla decks I've made. Um, I've playtested it on Untap a couple times. It's It does pretty well for what it can do. Uh, it's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve that just, it does a lot of crazy things. Yeah. Um, yeah. And when he was pulling the deck out, I was like, what? Is this shit? What's going <laughs> yeah. on here? Yeah, but, it, it doesn't look like it, but it is. But Kevin will uh, let us know what's going on here. Yeah, all right. So we're going to get back through it. I mean, y'all know Shayla, but we'll go over it real quick. Yep. Um, she's the blue ruler from the starter decks. Uh, judgments for three. Blue, blue, and one. She energizes for a blue. Yep, classic. Yeah, the weather is rain on your turn. Uh, she can tap, search for your deck for a weather change rain, and put it in your hand. That, that I don't use that because yep. I don't need that spell. And then she can pay zero and you can put a thunder counter on her during your turn or you can remove a thunder counter to make the weather thunderstorm for that turn as long as the weather was rain. So that's her like first side ability, her front ruler side. Uh, when you judgment, she turns into Shayla the Mermaid Princess and she's a 10-12 and the weather is rain period. Yep. And when she comes into play, you draw a card and then you can uh, pay zero, the weather becomes thunderstorm, or you can uh, pay a blue, remove two thunder counters from her, and destroy target J slash resonators, and then tap all resonators your opponent's control. Which is pretty good. So pretty the turn you need to God's Art with that and do that ability, you're usually swinging for alpha. Yeah, you're winning there. And that's if their dudes are untapped because you're playing Giga Thunderfish. Cause yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big thunderfish. And, and the longer they they take, the more thunder counters you have on there. Yeah. So you, to be able to do it real. Yeah. yeah. And if you get to keep going with the zero, and you just every turn you're just like add a thunder counter. Yep. Add a thunder counter. But that's what she does for her, and it's just it's super helpful. Just it's just in general, just being able to make thunderstorm when you need it. Oh yeah. It's not as relevant in this deck. It's there, but. But when you use it, it, it'll get there. Yeah, it's mostly for the like four or five cards I have for Thunderstorm. All right. With that, let's get into the creatures, yeah, shall we? let's dive into it. All right. Uh, this one, of course, what questioned me is uh, Venus. One drop, one white. Two, two. Uh, it has a lot of text, but mainly you're drawing a card. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's the new, uh, the resonator from the new historical deck. Y'all just saw it. Um, she can get bigger if you have other historicals, but that's not really why she's there. She's yeah. mostly there to draw a card. Um, I didn't have any at the time, but I would probably change it out for the Blue Mermaid. That's a one drop, three three. That literally, you draw a card if you if the weather is rain. It's the same card, just a three three. Yeah. But I couldn't find mine, so I would I just used her instead. There you go. All right, the next one that would actually pump her up if need be. Uh, what is this guy? Yeah, Saturnius is Saturnus. the two drop historical from the the deck. Um, he comes into play, and you can put a non. J ruler non J slash resonator entity on top of, or on the bottom of its owner's deck, so you can remove it. You can get an addition out of your way. Anything that's bothering you, just get it out of my life. Yeah. Um, and then he's there mostly for the zero ability of target resonator you control gets plus zero plus two. Yeah, which is pretty good. And really you can do it only actually. once per turn, but it's great because it saves your dude if if they're trying to burn it down. Yeah. Or swing into it, you're just like, okay. Yeah, and you're like, cool, that dude's bigger. Swing Thanks. into another guy. Thanks. Yeah, so it means it it forces them to overextend a lot more, yeah. which is what you kind of want in this deck. Yeah, to, oh, it's always good to mess up combat math mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Alright, the next one, of course, is Pandora, the Guardian of Light and Dark. Two drop. 5-7. Uh, I, I like this card every time so I see good. it. Whenever this card attacks, you force roll, so you roll a d6. And the opponent loses X life, where X is the result of the roll. So ultimately, 11 damage can happen just by swinging, if they don't block, of course. And then when the card blocks, you gain, you do the same thing, but you gain X life. Yeah, which is <laughs> that the light, the buffer is pretty good for this deck. Like she's a really good two drop, just because she protects you really well. I mean, yes, she's in True Blade range, but they're gonna have to use both of them to kill her. And even then, you're gonna get to block like a, a one of the pigs or one of the things from uh, Kirik. So it gives you at least some sort of life. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Granted, they probably have Sylvia's to make her not block. Yada yada. But overall, she can block most anything and survive, and you gain life. Yeah. 
Sounds good. And of course, Gil Lapis. Yeah. Had to throw him in here. Yeah, he's my boy. <laughs> Always will be. Uh, the three mana, white, black, and one. Six, seven. He has precision. And you go search for a one drop black or white chant and put it in your hand. Yep. And then he gets bigger for each Will of Despair card you control. And if you watch our brawl videos, you can see how annoying that gets when yeah. <laughs> when you're playing against it. I mean, it's it's he's got a couple of things in here, nothing like crazy. He, there's only like two of them in this deck, just because he's not he's not a pivotal point in yeah. the deck, but he's he's there for the uh, toolboxing. That's awesome. All right, something that does help with the with the thunder is a uh, Mega Thunderfish. Yeah. So Mega Thunderfish is the eight eight for three. It's uh, when it comes into play or when it dies. When it goes to the graveyard, if the weather is rain, you put a dude on top of its owner's library. Pretty good. Um, and if you have Thunderstorm, it becomes a 10-10 with haste. Yeah, which is good. Three mana 10-10s ten with haste all day. Because you're just you're already making the Thunder count as the first two turns. So yeah. you're, you're just good. like, cool, Thunderstorm, swing 10. Swing 10, go for it. Great. That's He's there for that. He's just, yeah, he's just amazing. And of course... Our favorite is Giga Thunderfish. Mm-hmm. He's he's the big guy. Yep. Uh, he's he's one of the big pieces of the deck. Uh, five mana, twelve, twelve. He's got a lot of text. Um, when he comes into play, if you have Thunderstorm, you can search your deck for a Mega Thunderfish and a Little Thunderfish and which, put them into play. Which we don't have, but you still get a Mega yeah. Thunderfish. Um, and when he attacks, he deals two hundred damage to each J Resonator your opponent controls. And when he deals damage to a J Resonator, that J Resonator gets uh, tapped, tapped and doesn't recover, doesn't recover as long as he's in play. So if he stays in play and gets to swing more than once, all those mm -hmm. dudes never untap. Yeah. Thanks. You just win. Yeah. Basically. And you have plenty, like you have a lot of ways to protect him in this deck and you have ways to get him back. So it, it's it's pretty fun. Yeah. So as soon as you play him, you get a Mega Thunderfish put on the plate. So you have 10 swinging yeah. immediately and then next turn you're just like, well, oh. Yeah, and you win. good luck. Yeah, I, I played against a, uh, an Imol deck online, and I dropped this dude turn five, and they couldn't stop it. So <laughs> yeah. I was just like, great. <laughs> oh, your Imol split too? I'm going to tap her down. Just, and and I, I just keep swinging. And your mana dorks don't, they don't do anything anymore. I mean, sure, you can untap one, great, but whatever. All right, the next guy, also extremely annoying to play against. <laughs> yeah. Go yeah. ahead and tell us about the your Blazer, boy. Blazer, the legendary thief. I mean, any kind of control deck, this dude's probably going to be there. Yeah. Just because he's really good. Uh, he's four mana for an 8-8 with precision. Already good stats. Yeah. Um, when he comes into play, you look at an opponent's hand, and they discard a card. You choose one, and they discard it. Um, and you put a 1-1 counter on him. And then you can remove a 1-1 counter from him, and you can either cancel a spell that's targeting him, or you can cancel a dude attacking him. Yeah, a, can a dude attacking him. Which if he's is... in battle with a creature, so you're like, remove that dude from attacking. Me. Thanks. Yeah, that, and they stay tapped, which yeah. is good. And also, of course, we, ex we did this. If they have no hand, you still get a counter. Yeah, which is a good thing. So just play him anyway. Yeah, he's still really strong in what he does. Um, Again, he's another one of the ones that can come back, and he's he's kind of a menace late game. Oh yeah. Your big bombs are the Giga Thunderfish and the Blazer. Like they're just they're what's what's there for it. Now we'll get to the spells here, and well, the first one is an addition, Lightning Cave. It's really good central to the deck. Uh, one drop addition, for blue of course. Non-water J Resonators lose and cannot gain Swiftness and Flying, which haystacks get out of here. Yeah. We don't care about you. Tap it. The weather is raining until end of turn, so on their turn, if you don't have her flipped. And then the weather is thunderstorm until the end of turn. Play this ability only, only if the weather is rain. Yeah. So if you don't want to use a thunder counter, if you have this turn one, then there you go. Yeah. For Mega Thunder. There, there's three currently. There's supposed to be four. Um, it's it's too good for a Shayla deck just because it, it keeps them at bay, and yeah. that's what you want. Because your Mega Thunderfish doesn't get stopped because he's blue, so he still has swiftness. Or because he's still because he's water, yeah. so you're still swinging for ten the turn you play him. And the way weather works is it only triggers that turn for what that is. So if you need it to be back to rain when the thunderfish dies, you can tap that to make it be rain again, so that way you get the trigger off the thunderfish from being rain. Nice. So that's its point, point and purpose. Heck yeah. All right, and of course a good old staple of just kill cards, forbidden arts, two drop, black white, quick cast, destroy target resonator. Yeah. It, it's just good. Let's Two just, mana kill a dude. Yep. Let's do it. All right. 
go ahead and please tell me what you'll be fetching <laughs> with Gil Lapis. All right, so I'm disgusted with this card. The main card to go get is Flourishing uh, Hope. Flourishing Hope. It one mana quick cast one white. Uh, target J slash Resonator becomes gains indestructible until the end of turn. Yep. And then you invert this card, or can't be destroyed. Yeah, can't be destroyed. Invert it to Burgeoning Despair. Uh, quick cast as well, three, so one black and two. Play this card only if it's removed, of course, and uh, it banishes two. Re target player banishes two resonators. Yeah, it's just and good on both sides. That card insane. is just insane for white black. It's just good. Like if you're playing white black, you should definitely be playing at least two, maybe even three of this yeah. card or four, because it's just that good. Even if it's just, because I mean, everybody knew how Mag Magic Sweets was good because it gave barrier. Yeah. This is almost the same thing. It just gives you dude can't be destroyed. So, yeah. thanks. You tried to do something cute. And it saves it from like a final battle too. Yeah. So that's that's and, a up thing. Yeah, it saves it from zeroing out on the attack and defense. Oh yeah. All right. The next card, very pretty, of course. Dawn of the Earth. Tell us. Yeah. There's a lot of text on this guy. <laughs> yeah. And it's always hard to read. So. Yeah. Dawn of the Earth <laughs> is a uh, another one of the fun <laughs> ones of the deck. Um, it's quick cast as well, so yes, this deck does get kind of wrecked by failure spell, but it's, it's, it's a part of the course. Yeah. Um, but, Dawn of the Earth, this turn, if a resonator put into the graveyard, you choose one. One of three different abilities. If a resonator put into the opponent's field without being played, remove it from the game instead, draw a card. Or, re to recover a resonator you control, and it gains barrier, and plus two, plus two, draw a card. Or remove all non-Magic Stone, non-J Ruler cards your opponent controls with cost zero from the game, draw a card. <laughs> yeah. So any option, you get to draw a card. Yeah. First and foremost, which is what helps fuel your deck because you need all the answers you can get. This can kill tokens, it can kill inverted dudes, um, but mostly it's there to protect your Giga Thunderfish and your Blazers and all your other big dudes. Yeah. Like, that's its main purpose is to give your Resonators barrier. Or if you're playing against Lumia and they're trying to be cute with the Lumia Flash, you're just like, no, get out of here. Yeah. Super. Just a great card for yeah. two mana. Two mana Super. does a lot. Perfect. All right. The next one, Lightning Shield. Uh, it costs two. Quick cast. Target J Resonator gains plus zero, plus eight, and barrier. And I do believe it, yeah, when the weather is thunderstorm, it gains when a damage is dealt to this card by J Resonator, slash Resonator. This card deals that much damage to the person who's dealing the damage. Yep. Pretty much. So, so <laughs> you use that on a Giga Thunderfish when they try to deal 12 to it, that's taking 12 back. Thanks. Yep. It's just it's what it does. And it's it's cute because it it protects your dudes from being attacked. Yeah. That's its purpose. If you're if you're like, cool, I'm gonna make a thunderstorm and my you you put your Giga Thunderfish, if they swiftness in, you're like, nah, he's protected. Thunderstorm, those dudes are all dying. Yeah. Because they deal their damage back. Pretty good. And the next one? Yeah, I got the one final battle for Gil, because you you never, you just need a final battle. Yeah. It's, it's just really good. You're not trying to do it a lot, but one black and X, J resonates your opponent's control, get minus X, minus X, till the end of the turn, and you can pay two life to add one mana, yep. technically. Um, so it's just, it's helpful if you need to clear the board and get you back and in get the it game. with Gil, so no, yeah. it's okay to run Why not? Board. Yeah. And then the last card you can get with Gil Lapis is Thought Control. And it's one black mana, your opponent reveals their hand, choose a three drop, and under, and remove. Or they discard it. All day. Yeah. Um, I have Shayla's Foresight. It is the uh, Shayla card. It's quick cast. So if your ruler, if your J ruler is Shayla or Shayla the Mermaid a, Princess, yep. you choose up to three. Three of the four different options. <laughs> one, you can draw a card. One, you can put an attacking resonator on top of its owner's deck. You can put an addition on top of its owner's deck, or you can shuffle all graveyards into their owner's decks. So respective decks like Magic Stone to Magic Stone, Graveyard into the library. Yeah. Two mana, I get three abilities. What's not to love about that? Exactly. I mean, if they're attacking, you're like, put that attacker on top, I'm going to draw a card. And you, <laughs> you only have to choose one, yeah. really. But you can choose up to three as long as your J ruler is Shayla, which... It, it is. is. So, so, there you go. Yeah. It's fantastic. And this card is great in this deck. The next one is Twin Blades of the Hope and Despair. So, two mana quick cast. Target Resonator you control gets plus six, plus six. And target Resonator your opponent controls gets minus six, minus six. And then it flips into, or it inverts after that, into Sword of Fate. 
uh, white, white, black, black, and then you choose one. Destroy target J resonator, or put target resonator total cost five or less from your graveyard into the field. Okay. And so with it being full art, it's one of the greatest arts out there. Yeah. With this card, the the same Amul deck I played, he finally got to kill my Giga Thunderfish, and I was like, cool. Pay four mana, bring it back. <laughs> and Enjoy now that. I still have the other white mana to protect him with a flourishing hope this time. So yeah. that's the cutest thing of this card is it it gives you a way to kill a J besides her ability to kill a J. Yep. Or you can get back one of your big dudes, like a Giga Fish or a Blazer. And playing a Blazer, throwing it in front of a dude, and then playing it again, it's just silly. <laughs> Because I'm going to get rid of your hand and yeah, do all kinds of shenanigans. That's so much wasted resources on their part to try to kill them. Yeah. Especially if you bring them back. Yeah, and it's, it's just... You get both options with Sword of Fate, and it's just it's super strong in this just because you get to bring a Thunderfish back. Yeah. All day, every day. Uh, next up, we'll go through the Mana Stones, or the, the Rocks. I got four Magic Stone of Light Vapors, which is the blue-white, the dual stone. Four Magic Stone to Dark Depths, which is the black-blue... I have one of each of the, I have one white blue of the magic counters, uh, Vingolf land, yep. and then one of the black blue magic counter Vingolf land. It's pretty basic. Yep. Mostly you need the blue. That's what you're wanting because it just helps with the thunder fishes and you always get it. And draw cards and all the, all your tricks pretty yeah, much. Yeah, all your like spells that you're going to want to play are all double blues. Everything else is just a singular color. Nice. Right. Um, what about side broad? So sideboard. It, there's still a lot to do with it because I haven't figured out exactly what it needs. But for right now, I have a fourth blazer. Uh, I put two Riulas, the ancient dragon priestess, or the alabaster dragon princess, that she's there to heal Shayla if yeah. she ever dies. So you can flip again and draw cards and just have another big dude again. Yeah. Because um, I don't have dragonoids, so it's not really a big thing. The one of separation of fates in the board, so you can put it in because Gil can go get it. Yeah. Um, one mana quick cast, target J slash resonator, loses all abilities, draw a card. It really helps against Dusk Girl. Yeah. Uh, also, Magic Rebound. It's one of my favorite cards I've I've seen, and it's it's got an amazing art, but it's blue-black and quick cast. Change the target to target speller ability with a single target, draw a card. Yeah, that ability is always just fun to do. Yeah, yeah. Any, any kind of misdirection cards, I love them. They're like, try to kill your dude. No, how about you kill your dude? I'll draw a card. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, and it draws a card, so great. <laughs> Keys is called, because it's one blue, quick cast, counter, cancel target automatic ability, draw a card. Done. So it's, in essence, it's your Lorite. It's not as strong as a Lorite, because Lorite can get other things, but you get to counter their Lorite or Rachel abilities or anything like that. Um, I have the one Alhamut's Black Lightning. It's two black and awakens for four. And it kills a non-darkness resonator. If this card is awakened, put it back in your hand. But it can't be cancelled. That's the reason it's there. Yeah. So it's six mana. You get to keep killing dudes that are not non-darkness. All day. Especially a late game when they're trying to play a Jupiter and you're just like, yeah. uh, kill that guy. No, nope, yep. you can't do anything Thanks. about this. And I get this back? Yep. Great. I have three Shackles of Ice, because around here everybody uses a lot of the uh, activated abilities of Jays, or oh, of yeah. rulers. So like... It stops Shahrazad's zero ability. It stops Dusk Girl's uh, pitching cards. It, yeah. show, it stops Imel's zero ability. It just so many things get stopped. It stops Kira getting counters again, or you can put it on a resonator to stop that resonator to from doing their activated abilities. Um, and this deck, like, yes, it shuts you out of using getting thunder counters easier, but you have the lightning cave, so you, you can still make the rain, like the thunderstorm. Yep. So it's not really necessity for you. That's why I base this on not doing too much Thunderstorm stuff, because you're not going to need it. Yeah. And then if you're playing Heavy Control, I put in some Spinning Aqua Souls so you can get back all your spells to do things with. So that's it's really there, and it's one blue, quick cast. Put Target Champ from your graveyard into your hand. Yep. Just a good card. Just a great card. Actually. Yeah. It's, it's definitely one of the better blue staples. Um... I didn't really think it's like necessary for me main board right now. Yeah. Because I mean, you're mostly counting on the, the resonators to get you there, but it's helpful. Yeah, looks pretty solid here. Just everything, like whatever powerful things you can do. 
Yeah. You just put them in here and it's good. It, it does some silly stuff for not being wind. It, I mean, wind is current and everywhere, so just know that you're going to be running against it. Yeah. But this deck is a little slower. It's a little slower. It's on the slow end, but once you get there, your power level is through the roof. Yeah. Because um, having a Thunderfish and then bringing back another Thunderfish is, too, <laughs> is pretty dumb. It's just good. But hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Check it out. The, uh, the list will be down below in the description. And it is... From what I've played of it, it's very competitive. It can stick with most of the green decks. Um, I've not played too many Scheherazade, so I don't know exactly how well it does against it, but I feel like it's got a pretty good chance. Because, yeah. I mean, it can stop their effigies. It can stop all the, the little dolls. Um, but go ahead and check it out. Give us a like. See you all next week, all right? Thanks. All right, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the bell that gets you notifications on all of our content. Also, if you need the latest deck tech, it's going to be to the right. And if you need the latest gameplay videos, it's going to be down below.